welcome back so in today's session we'll be looking on the two undocumented function but i find it really helpful so this function are with respect to making client record read only yes you are hearing me correctly making client record read only so for an example consider a scenario that you have created certain functions out okay uh, which is returning a client record object and you just want to use that particular object to do certain kind of iteration you just want to read through that object okay but don't want to update through anything with respect to that object okay so in this in this particular scenario what if in other script wherever wherever you are calling that particular function out a person update certain attributes out so it's 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 not a desirable behavior right in simple context i will give you one example so for example you you have a requirement where you have to create a function which will return a user from certain company okay if uh, we have to just check if a user if there is any user belonging to that company if yes then you have to return that user out and we have to just perform certain iterations or uh, certain operation based on that user but in this entire context what if a person or via certain script that user object only get updated so in that sense it's not a desirable behavior right because use this user is a core table and we don't want to update anything on that particular table so how to avoid this kind of scenarios okay so today we'll be focusing on how we can how we can avoid this kind of scenarios and what are the functions what are the hidden function which are not documented so let's get started so first of all this is my service now personal development instance so let's go to the service sys user table first okay to get certain and credit query we can say or to perform certain you to define certain use case so this is a sys user table okay as you can see and for example you want to create a function where the output will be like uh, a person belonging to a company which company i should take <coughs> to a company acme north america so what the function will do it will return if any user is there for company north acme north america and then we will perform certain iteration so i will just copy this encoded query out and let's define the function <coughs> so for, for as a editor i will be using fix script i really like fix script when i use it as an editor so i'll go over here and create a new fix script and here let's define the function so what name i should give to the function let's give it like get user so you get user function get user and what this function will do it will simply glide record the user object user table so it will be user equal to new glide record <clears throat> and which table so it will be this user table then we will define our query for acme north america so we will be doing gi user dot add encoded query and we'll give the encoded query then we'll go gr dot gi user dot query if the user exists so if gr query user dot next if user exists then we want to return the first user so it will be like return gi user if it doesn't exist we will keep it as empty else we'll give we'll make it return empty string so this is a function okay and if we use this function out so for example i will be i will be i want to use expo for the same so if we take this function to this particular uh, and execute it out so this and if i do here dot info 
in get user so ideally it will return a user object cs dot info sorry so it should return user object why what happened cs dot which particular line number we got there oh it, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is the error? Sorry, it's not get user. This is wrong. Set gr user. My bad. So if we run it out, so we got a user data. Okay. Right. So it will be like we go we see name. Or I will simply give it over here. Dot name run dot to string so is scene bonnet okay so we are getting proper user object what if while using this object out so for example if a user use it like this or if a developer use it like this variable gr equal to get user okay so here you will get the user and then what it does he will be doing gr dot email for example he updates the email id equal to hello and gr dot update now this particular scenario is not a valid scenario because we don't want the user uh, information to get updated right let's see first of all it, if it get updated or not so we will run this out because the purpose of this function was just to get the user object and just to make it read only, right? We don't want to have perform any action. So as we can see, the user was seen born at, okay? This is the sys ID for that user and if we go to the user table, so if I go to the user table and if I add a query and this ID starts with this so the email id got changed to hello okay if you want to give it a try one more time so if i give it hi if i run again then it will get updated to hi which is not right practice right how to avoid this situation so over here in order to avoid this situation in order to avoid this manual error or coding error what we can do we can make this object what we are returning as read only how we can make that object read only? Interesting, right? So there is a function which is not documented called gruser, which is the user object dot make read only. Okay. So what this function does, it makes that particular entity, it makes that particular object read only. So whatever is coming out of this function will be read only. You can read through the data, but you can't update any entity out. You don't believe me? So let's give it a try. Now, instead of hi, hello, we will give it thank you. Let's try to make some more mistakes. So if I give thank you and if I run this code out. So ideally, as per the previous scenario, it should get updated, right? But if I go over here and if I see again the record so if i refresh it out the record didn't get updated interesting right so you can use this particular function whenever you want to make certain object which are you are returning from a script read only so you can make it make read only now this is one of the function now there is one more function which is as i mentioned there are only two functions so the second function is just 
a complementary function to this function called make read only so for example before doing certain iterations or before updating anything out if you want to check whether this particular is marked read only or not okay so how you can do that because there should be possibility right we can check also ki whether else we will never come to know ki why exactly this function is not getting updated why this particular attribute is not getting updated so for that we have function called is read only so for example we got over here variable g i equal to get user and 